This is the eighth annual Wakaiva Paintout hosted at Wakaiva Island. And our benefactors are the Wakaiva Wilderness Trust and Keep Someone Beautiful. We have 32 artists coming from all over the country. Uh, some are local and many that are local are also national. And then we have many from all over the country. Plein air, it's really painting in plain air. And it was a French movement started back with Monet and those artists in France and it has grown, and, and basically it's artists painting live outdoors what they see in front of them, and it's their interpretation of that on, on canvas. I'm, I'm a plein air painter, so I paint landscapes and I, I love to be in wild, unspoiled places. There's not too many of them left, and the real advantage of this place is it's close to home. I can actually come here and paint anytime I want. I have a kayak, I go up and down the river and paint, so it's really fun, and I enjoy it. There's nothing like capturing it live. You have to be there, a photograph doesn't do it. It changes, there's something new, exciting, the sun will come out and hit something and you're inspired and you go. It's always different, it's awesome. Just, I, I try to paint in the studio, it's just not near as much fun. This is fun. <laughs> the type of thing that I enjoy the most uh, is painting uh, the look of Central Florida because we've got lots of areas where it's thick jungle and it hasn't completely disappeared and there's a lot of it and it's my preferred subject matter because you really get the feeling of what Florida is like. So I basically built kind of what I call the bones of the painting and then I just go in and I start putting the light on. So today I got excited about these palm trees because I think they're great looking and I like the shape between them and I like the way I can sort of divide the whole painting into three simple shapes, which is something I was trying to work on this morning. You get to learn every day, you get to see other people interpret some of the similar things that you're interested in. Like all of us can look at a palm tree and re respond entirely different to it. So you go through the other artist's paintings and it's just like, it's the coolest thing in the world. I'm trying a bit of an experiment with paint, it's something I've been working on a bit. Um, I try to build up surface rapidly. Uh, underneath this mess is uh, house paint and right now I'm painting over the house paint that's dry in oil to try and you know bring give it some form but not lose the kind semi abstracted quality of the of the, of the uh, edges that sort of thing this painting is from I did yesterday at the boil of the Wakaiva Springs right there looking down into the water and I'm just trying to capture that motion of what's going on, the bubbling water and then the light going different directions. It's kind of a perfect sort of symbiotic relationship because the plein air painters paint outdoors and so then their imagery is used and, and people in the area can relate to it and connect with it even more and come on out to the river, enjoy it. So that's our goal. Awareness of the river and keeping the Wakaiva River alive and well.